So thank you for attending this uh, uh, this PA forum and uh, thanks AWR to give me the opportunity to uh, uh, introduce uh, the integration of uh, Stan tool, which is our, a tool for stability analysis and the uh, NI AWR design engineering uh, design environment framework. So the topic is about uh, oscillations in RF power amplifiers uh, because unfortunately uh, RF power amplifiers are, are prone to unwanted parametric oscillations and we have two main families of oscillations which can appear in a, in a PA. The first one, so main typical ones, first one is uh, low frequency oscillations uh, generally linked to the biasing circuits of your PA and this kind of oscillations can be uh, detected using uh, small signal uh, simulations and uh, uh, suited methods. And the second family is uh, uh, parametric oscillations, for example, function of the input drive signal. And this kind of oscillations have been to have to be detected and uh, using large signal uh, simulations. So the method and the, and the tool we provide is based on the pole zero identification principle. So it basically consists in uh, connecting the probe to a node of the your PA and uh, sweeping the frequency of uh, this uh, small current probe to obtain the frequency response at this node. Then uh, we fit this frequency response by a, trans uh, by a polynomial trans uh, rational transfer function. And we plot the pole zero map of this transfer function, of this fitted transfer function. And we know that if we have poles like these ones with a positive real part, poles in the right half plane, it means that we have a startup of an oscillation. And the oscillation frequency here is given by the module of the imaginary part of this uh, uh, pulse, right of plane poles. So here it will be close to uh, 5 kHz. So the key elements for this, uh, this method and this tool is that the same method is suitable for both linear and non-linear stability analysis. That is to say, with the same tool, we are able to detect both uh, low frequency oscillations as well as parametric oscillations. A typical one is a uh, frequency divided by two oscillations. Uh, we have also the notion of stability margin and the knowledge of the oscillation mode. This knowledge of the oscillation mode and to, uh, to be able to find where is the oscillation loop in, your in the circuit uh, will hel help us to find uh, the suitable stabilization strategy. And we have also implemented parametric analysis to be able to sweep parameters and to check the stability versus different parameters. So since the, the version 12 of uh, AWR MicroOffice, we have, uh, uh, thanks to the AWR connected to MCAD, we have the integrated stan wizard in MicroOffice uh, environment. So when you have your, your PA design, uh, like this uh, very basic uh, example, the first step is to add a stability probe. So this kind of, um, so the first step is to connect a probe, a stability probe that we have in, in version 12 and to add this probe to the schematic. So we will see uh, in the next slides where to connect this, uh, this probe and then to invoke the, the stun wizard. So the integration in the uh, micro office uh, uh, design environment works better than, the <laughs> than this, <laughs> than the windows. Uh, so the then when you invoke the stun wizard, you, you will have this kind of uh, uh, windows with the schematic selection and uh, then the node selections and the settings for the stun simulation. And maybe I can show you directly in micro office. So it's a, a basic uh, PA design with a, a one gallon nitride device and the input and output matching circuits and the biasing circuits. And here, as you can see, I connected uh, the stability probe. Uh, so I connected on the gate of the, the device, but it can be uh, everywhere on the, the circuit and I will go to the stand wizard so here I select the schematic the next so as I have included the stability probe it uh, uh, automatically d detect that I have this uh, stability probe and I will set the settings for the st uh, stability analysis simulation so in this case I will uh, I'm in small signal and I will check for uh, low frequency oscillations and so I have a very low uh, drive lever, so I'm kind of small signal. And I will run the simulation. So I'm sweeping the frequency of the uh, stability probe. Okay. 
and here it automatically plots uh, the pole zero map. And I can see here that I have some poles with a positive uh, real part. Uh, so it means that I have an oscillation in this circuit. And the oscillation frequency is about uh, 59 megahertz, so low frequency oscillation. So very simple to, to use. So this is the, the data, data display. And uh, as it's a low frequency oscillation, I can play with the uh, bias in circuit to try to stabilize the PA. And this is what I can do, uh, sweeping the uh, gate resistance, for example. So I will just add this kind of uh, sweep var block, uh, sweeping the value of the gate resistance. And I will plot the pores uh, versus this uh, uh, value of the gate resistance. And I will see that as we increase the gate resistance value, we will move the pores from the right half plane to the left half plane. That is to say, we will stabilize the PA. And doing this, we have a kind of uh, uh, notion of stability margin, because I know uh, what is the, the suited value for the gate resistance to stabilize the PA. And given the technical uh, dispersion, technological dispersion I will have when I will manufacture the PA, I, I can take some, some margin. Uh, so it's, it is exactly the same process to check the stability in a large signal. So the only difference is that in the stern wizard, I will drive um, the PA with some uh, input uh, RF power. So I will uh, drive the, the, the PA in, a, uh, in large signal conditions, and it will calculate the steady state of the PA and uh, check the stability around the steady state. So exactly the same uh, process to check the, the stability in both linear and nonlinear conditions. So one of the questions is uh, uh, where I should connect the probe when I want to check the stability using STAN. Uh, because we can have some pole zero constellations which are associated with the lack of uh, controllability or sensitivity of the, uh, in the system. So pole zero quasi constellation is that when we have poles on top or close to be on top of the, of the poles and which can hide the, the information. So to avoid this kind of uh, pole zero cancellation, we have some recommendations to follow. So in simple circuit, as the, the one uh, I've shown you, is uh, you can select any uh, node in the circuit. You will have the same results. In uh, uh, a little bit more complex uh, circuits, we have, uh, for example, this kind of uh, multi-stages uh, power amplifier. We have to uh, make at least one analysis per stage and to avoid to miss uh, any information. And so what we will do in, in micro office is that, it, that we'll, we will just add one probe per stage. And it will be enough to check the, the stability of a multi-stage uh, PA. And using this uh, kind of recommendation, doing one analysis per stage, we will be able to get some information about where is the oscillation in the PA. Typically, it's uh, uh, three stages uh, per warm fire exhibiting uh, an oscillation. And so I follow the recommendation. I connect the probe to a node of a third stage and make the uh, analysis. And I can see that I do not have pores on the right half plane, so it seems to be stable at this, uh, this node. If I connect node probe to a node of second stage, I can see that we have a, a physical quasi cancellation. So it means that we, we may have something, but it's not very clear. So we have to do further inf investigations uh, uh, in other nodes of the circuits. It means that we we may detect an oscillation, but we are uh, electrically far from where this oscillation takes place. And if now I connect the probe in the node of the first stage, in this case, the poles are isolated in the right half plane, so it's very clear that we have an oscillation. And with these three results, uh, we are able to say that the oscillation takes place in the first stage. So for the designer, it's very important because he knows that he has to focus on the first stage to stabilize the whole PA. Another case, it's uh, on also on, uh, in amplifiers with combined structure. Uh, we will use uh, some tips to define the, the uh, oscillation mode. For example, if we have two transistors in parallel and with uh, an oscillation between these two transistors, if we connect the probe uh, in the common node, that is to say before the power divider, we will not detect the oscillation because the odd mode oscillation will have a recombination in phase in this power divider and so we will not see the oscillation from this node. And if we connect the probe 
at, at this uh, node of the transistor, we will we are able to detect the oscillation. So with these two kind of results, we are able to find if you, if we have if we are in presence of uh, even or odd mode oscillation, which will help us to choose the stabilization strategy for the the PA. And if we look at some more complex structure and this kind of uh, uh, PA, we will follow a small methodology to check the stability of this PA. Uh, connected three uh, probes in node A, B, and D, and check the stability of at each of these nodes. And if we have a, if we uh, detect an oscillation in each of these three nodes, it means that we have an even mode oscillation. And in this case, the preferred strategy would be this kind of uh, uh, SSRs in series, for example. If we detect the oscillation uh, not in node E and node D, but only in node B, it means that we have an odd mode oscillation in the first stage, so between these two transistors. And so we will apply to stabilize the PA, we will apply this kind of interbranch resistance between uh, node B and C. And if we detect the oscillation only on, on in node D, it means that we have an odd mode oscillation in the second stage between these four transistors. So we will see next slide or we can investigate further. And if we do not detect any oscillation, that's fine. We are happy. So if we, in the case, we detect the oscillation uh, only in node D, meaning that we have an odd mode oscillation between these four transistors, we will apply a small mes methodology uh, um, connecting four probes at uh, these four uh, gates of the four joint source, and we will excite different oscillation mode, and to be able to find if we have an odd mode oscillation of kind uh, plus minus minus plus or plus minus plus minus, which means that we have uh, transistor one oscillating uh, out of phase with transistor two, and the same for uh, three and four, or if we have an odd mode oscillation of type plus plus minus minus meaning that we have this block of two transistors oscillating out of phase uh, with this block of two transistors. And depending on the results, we are able to uh, choose between the different uh, stabilization networks that we can apply on the, the circuits, that is the interbranch resistances between the different tr transistors. So thank you for your attention. Uh, do I have still one minute or not? Yeah? Just to highlight this, this methodology on a practical case, uh, it's a customer example. It's a, a, a Kyuban MMI CPA for active space antenna. And this is the original design made by the, the customer. And uh, so, as you can see, uh, the designer applied a lot of stabilization networks uh, everywhere in the circuit, SSRs, uh, interbranches, resistance, first stage, second stage. And so they manufactured the PA, and the PA was stable. No oscillation issue, that's, was, that's fine. But the performances, the RF performances were not so good and not good enough for the to meet the specification of the application. So what we tried with this customer and what I uh, would like to uh, highlight uh, in this uh, few slides is that we can use STAN tool to uh, check the stability, but not only, we can use it to optimize the RF performances of, of a PA. So what we did with this customer is that uh, we removed all the stabilization networks just keeping these two resistances for some topological reasons to, to bias the gates uh, in a symmetrical way. And if we analyze this uh, PA without any stabilization networks, we can detect uh, oscillation and uh, uh, division pair two's instability. So we have to stabilize the PA. So what we did is that we, we followed the, the methodology I just shown you, uh, connecting the probe at different uh, nodes of the circuits to be able to localize the oscillation and to find the oscillation mode. And doing this, we have been able to find that only these two stabilization interbranches, uh, stabilization resistances were needed to stabilize the PA. So it's uh, uh, much less than previously in the, the original design. And this is a comparison of the results of the optimized circuit with stand tool and the original design. And you can see that, so both circuits are stable, no oscillation issues. And you can see that we have 3 dB more gain more output power and what will was very important for this customer more power added efficiency so it's a tool to check the stability but also to find the best trade-off between stability and the error of performances so thank you